Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the MSUSpartans.com. Fueled by Gatorade, Ross Gordon joined Thank now you. by the head coach of Norfolk State, Coach Larry Vickers. Uh, coach Vickers, 57-50. If you look at this ball game, pretty much the only thing we can look at and say that we didn't do well tonight was the finish. Uh, as we struggled down the stretch, they outscored us 18 to 10, and I think in the fourth quarter they out hustled us to start. Uh, well, I wouldn't use the word out hustle. I did feel like they got to a couple loose balls that we could have got to, but I thought we were um, getting to those deflections. You know, we got a ton of deflections in the beginning of the fourth, so and and throughout the fourth. So I thought we did a good job there. I think big for us tonight is your role players played their roles. Danny Goodhope, a defender, quick gets into people and uh, does a good job. She had five steals tonight, five assists to go along with four points and five rebounds. Yeah, Denny did a good job. I feel like the Coppin State game um, gave her a lot of confidence. You know, um, she's our backup point guard. And, you know, now um, that we've been down some people, we've been starting her at the wing, and she's been excelling at that role with her energy and effort, something that we knew that she could do. 18 points for Kendra Dawkins to go along with 10 boards tonight. She also had an assist. And I think one good thing that we said about our, we looked at our offense today, we got the shots we wanted at the rim. Oh, yeah, especially in the first half. I mean, even throughout the third and the fourth, some of them just didn't go in. Uh, but we did. We got some great looks. I felt like our offensive execution and, and that whole entire game was key. And it was something that we wanted to talk about was well, something that we did talk about, our discipline, uh, offense and defensively, and I felt like we were that. I think it was interesting. You said before the game it was going to be hard to get those cuts going to the basket. Yeah. And tonight it seemed like we did a good job of uh, getting those cuts in the basket. Also, defensively, you know this team is going to go how Angel Golden goes, and we did a good job of making everything tough for her tonight. Yeah, um, she got loose a little bit late as far as getting a few good looks that we didn't want her to have. Um, but she is a good, good basketball player. And, you know, um, like I said, she got one of the quickest shots I've seen. Um, and then she shoots it with accuracy that quick. So, you know, but I did feel like we did a good job of talking and locating and knowing where she was in our man our zone. And, you know, it was a it was a good game for us when, when we didn't shoot the three well. So it was like polar opposites from Coppin State. Coppin State, you know, we go on the road and we shoot 60% from three and then we come home and we shoot 10% from three. So I thought we did a good job missing threes and still playing our basketball game. We rebounded the ball well tonight as well. 38 to 35, and that's what they like to do. They like to control the basketball game by getting on the boards and slowing you down. We did a good job of controlling the boards and getting some runouts because they're not a team that gets out and runs a lot. Yeah, you know, we um, we talked about FAMU's toughness. And, you know, there's there's probably no tougher team in the league, 1 through 12, than, than this Bethune team. Even when you cut, they're going to give you a little oomph. And, you know, um, it's, it's, it's something I really like about them, and I, I like playing them. And, obviously, this is my first win against Coach Blair and them. So, uh, hopefully, we can try and make it two in a row, and I can, we can try and even this series maybe in the next three years or so. Yeah, running at, the, uh, at, at their place is a different kind of, a different kind of adjustment oh. as well. But that's going to be in a couple of weeks. But we get to enjoy this 4-0 start, the conference play. Uh, and, Coach, and the interesting thing, no matter what's been thrown at us, I, I have to credit you and your staff and the team, no matter what's happened, you did a good job of playing through. You've done a good job of playing through everything that's been thrown at you guys. This year. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> in the beginning of the year, sometimes you look at your roster and you're like, man, do we have enough? And because you never know, like we talked about it, I think last pregame, um, if you would have told us we would have won 20 games almost with Jordan being hurt the whole year, I would have said, oh, no, you know, like, um, but it's just, it spoke volumes about this basketball team. And um, as people go, don't play, play, whatever the case may be, um, I'm just excited about their growth. Like today, our forward play was amazing. Um, all around and you know I, not not that our guard play wasn't good because our guard play was really good as well but i'm saying as far as like our fours held us down coppin state you know our guards held us down so as we continue to go through this marathon you know that's the stuff that that, that you're going to need to win 32 points out of our three bigs here tonight that's not that's not bad including 18 and 10 for Kendra dawkins a double double for her played well tonight yeah. as well so big game we get a couple, chance, couple days to rest up before we get on the road coach um, looking at this ball game and the last two ball games, what do we need to work on going into next week? Well, our clothes, like you said, maybe um, the seven point lead or six point lead at Coppin, I'm not sure what the number was, maybe it was six or five. They could have, I don't want to use the word easily been 15, but if we execute down the stretch, they could be 15. So when we go through scoring drops, we got to stop pressing. 
and understand that, hey, that, that, that next shot is going to go in for us, and we got to believe that. I guess the biggest stat of the night, 42 points in the paint tonight for our team, yeah. and we get the victory 57-50. So we did a lot of work inside yeah, against a team that does work inside. So yeah. we did a good job there. Congratulations, Thank Coach, you. on the win, and we'll see you on this weekend. That's Larry Vickers, the head basketball coach. I guess it was the best. We, uh, the best yeah, thing today. Best, to get, best, best day. Best day. Best, best day. day. <laughs> so the Spartans win today, 57-50. And we'll be back after this break with the start of the second half of the doubleheader, Norfolk State and Bethune Cookman on the men. You've been listening and watching NSU basketball on the NSU Sports Network. Go Spartans.